Welcome to Gun Session. This is my first ever video and today we're going to be looking at my first ever gun. Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Got this one right here. A car CM9, okay? Let's go ahead and go look. All right, guys, let's see what this car arm CM9 comes with. So first off, comes in this polymer hard box. It's uh, eight by six, eight inches long, six inches high. And then inside we got uh, an instruction manual. Um, and we have the gun and two magazines. So let's check it out. All right, so this is it. You have a two-tone, nine millimeter pistol. So this car, or gun in general, is very nice to look at. It has a black polymer frame and a stainless steel matte finish on the slide. The overall weight of the gun is 14 ounces, uh, and the magazines weigh 1.9 ounce each uh, fully loaded um, it weighs 19.25 ounces just under 20 ounces uh, the dimensions of this gun are ideal for a concealed carry it is uh, the overall length is 5.42 inches uh, the height is 4 inches not including this magazine and the slide width is 0.9 of an inch. I have a little Blackhawk holster that I appendix carry with. And it fits perfect, nice and smooth in there. And so now with this um, CM series, which is uh, basically the value package, their economical package, um, it's going to have roll marking on the side instead of a, an engraved like deep texture and taking a look over to the sights they are a pinned front white dot sight with a drift adjustable rear white bar now let's go ahead and take this one apart so we go ahead and put just double check make sure there's no bullet in the chamber Go. Got this little pin right here. You can just press it out with your thumb as soon as you align these two marks. There, it pushes out, comes out like that. I just pull it, the slide goes forward a little bit, and then I take the whole thing out. And then I set that aside, and just similar to a Glock, just press the trigger and it pulls off just like that. So I'll put the frame over there. And this is your slide. So for some further disassembly, we'll go ahead and take out this uh, guide rod and you have your outer spring and your inner spring right here. This is what helps with um, recoil, but this is also um, on this gun gonna make pulling your slide back or rocking your slide a little bit harder this is a three inch barrel I believe it is stainless steel and it is a one and ten right hand twist and it's just conventional rifling and that is about it oh yeah and on your frame you have um, the trigger right here it has a six and a half pound pull let me reassemble it for you real quick so that we can get a look at that trigger put 
put the slider back on the rail. I really like how easy it is to reassemble. So here is the trigger. There's nice and smooth. There's the brake. I'm gonna recock it because this is interesting. It goes basically all the way back. So it's a full, I guess when you pull the trigger, it, the reset is all the way to the beginning. And then the brake. So the trigger's really smooth. But that brake is crisp. The only thing is the trigger goes all the way back before it resets. So let's go ahead and take this gun out to the range so that we can see how it performs and see if we had any malfunctions and give you my final thoughts on how the pistol was and what I think about it. So right here, I had a malfunction with the magazine, the extended magazine. It didn't want to lock inside of the gun, so I ended up uh, just emptying the magazine and reloading it, and after that it worked flawless. Besides that, I had no other issues with the pistol. And it fired great and worked good. I was really happy with the way the pistol performed. It shot where I aimed. It didn't really have any other hiccups besides the one that I mentioned earlier about the extended magazine. And I just believe that it's a good gun uh, at a good cost. You can get this gun for around 300, 350, depending where you look. And um, if you got to this point in the video, I just wanna thank you. And I know I've kept a lot of you guys waiting. Uh, I've been saying for a few months now that I was gonna get this channel started and I barely did it now. Well, I just want to thank everybody for their patience and for waiting and uh, for all the support that I've received from everybody. And uh, if you would like to comment on this video or give it a thumbs up or share it or subscribe to my channel, that'd be nice. Thanks guys. See you later.